Hi, I'm Hannah from California. Please like and subscribe because MSA will give $1,000 to one lucky person in the coming seven days. I was born to one of the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah, everyone thinks about their moms, but in my case, it was actually true. Everyone said so, and I was just like her. Dad adored us both, and we lived in a beautiful house. Life was good, almost perfect. But when I was 14, everything changed one day. I slipped on something on the pavement outside and fell to the ground. And when I woke up, I discovered that I had small scars all over my face. And the doctors said they may never go away completely. I was in shock for a few days. Once the scars were healed, mom took me to the mall to buy makeup. But just putting on some concealer wasn't helping much. You could still see them. The next few days, I spent hours watching YouTube makeup tutorials. I studied the way makeup artists transform their faces with layers of makeup. And once I'd applied it on myself, my parents were stunned. Hannah, I hardly recognize you. But honey, the stuff will rub off when you play outside. True, so I guess I won't be doing that anymore. A week later, my parents sat me down for a talk. Hannah, we have some difficult news. Our company is not doing well and we'll have to sell the house. While we're taking care of all this, we think it's best that you go to my sister in Seattle for a while. Honestly, it was a lot to take in, but a part of me was relieved. I'd never met my aunt or been to Seattle, but it meant a fresh start where no one knew what I looked like before. Two days later, I flew to Seattle and a driver picked me up at the airport. Aunt's house was basically a mansion. I knew aunt owned a skincare company, but I had no idea she was so rich. A maid led me to my room, and as I was unpacking, I suddenly jumped when I saw someone's reflection in the mirror. It was a really short woman with an unpleasant expression. Um, hi, can I help you? Help me? How would you help me when you've come to live on my charity? Wait, this woman was my aunt? She looked nothing like mom. Oh, I'm sorry, aunt. I've just never seen any pictures of you. Of course. Why would your vain mother keep pictures of me? All she ever cared about was herself and her looks. Judging by all the makeup on your face, I guess that's what she taught you too. Not exactly. Since I'll be living with you, you might as well know. I took a wet tissue and cleaned the makeup off my face. Aunt stared at me, and then she started laughing. Oh, <laughs> this must bother your mother so much. She couldn't even stand it if she had a tiny pimple. She was obsessed with perfection. Well, she's not like that now, really. I'm guessing it was her idea to get you all this makeup? Trust me, I know your mother better than you do. With that, she just turned and left. Well, yeah, mom had bought me the makeup, but it was what I wanted too. Aunt was just weird. And over the next few days, I realized she was really weird. She'd ask me to do the oddest tasks. I only eat the brown M&Ms, so pick those out and throw the others away. Get me six blueberry muffins from the bakery and then pick out all the blueberries. I'm allergic. You have to read me 22 pages every night before I go to sleep. I tried doing whatever she asked, but then one night she woke me up by calling me. I need three apples from the tree down the road. Um, you need them now? It's 3 a.m. I'm not going, aunt. And I hung up, but moments later, she appeared in my bedroom. If I were you, I'd do what you're told, Hannah. I've been doing that, but I think you're just enjoying torturing me. You and your parents owe me. They're nearly bankrupt, and I've been sending them money, and also offered to send you to school. So, I want those apples, now. I climbed out of bed and went out. I didn't realize my parents were in so much trouble and I didn't want to add to their stress. I got some relief from her when I started school. I was looking for my class the first day when a boy approached me. Are you new here? You look lost. Yeah, I'm extremely lost. His name was Eric and he was really nice. He showed me the way to my class and as we parted, he said, hope I get to see you around later. Maybe Seattle would be bearable after all. As I was looking for an empty seat, a gorgeous girl waved at me. You come and sit right here, new girl. I'm Tracy, and honestly, I'm the only person worth knowing in this class. Everyone else is boring. <laughs> By the way, I just love your makeup. Wow, this Tracy was 
definitely full of herself. But she was kind of fun, and soon we started hanging out every day. A few weeks later, she proposed a sleepover, but it had to be at my house. Sure, but be warned, my aunt is weird. The night started off pretty fun, but then Tracy turned to me and said, I want to know how you do your makeup. Here, use this to take it off and show it to me from the start. Before I could reply, I heard Aunt yelling, Hannah, I can't find my underwear. Help me find it. Ah! When I got to her room, I found her sitting on the bed. Don't show that girl your face without makeup. Ever. Why not? And wait, how did you know what we were talking about? Not important. Now listen to me. I own a skincare company, and I promise everyone perfect, flawless skin. I can't have customers knowing that my own niece is, well, not perfect. It will be bad for my brand. So I'm just supposed to hide my face from my friend? Please, don't make me remind you about everything I'm doing for me and my parents. Yeah, yeah, I won't tell anyone. I went back and told Tracy I was tired and wanted to sleep. You're not gonna take your makeup off first? Nope, it'll last me another day. Luckily, Tracy didn't push it, and I was glad to have her as a friend. But the best part about school was Eric. One time, he caught me looking at the track team's flyer. Do you like to run? I think it's something I could like. I love running. Race you to the gym? You're on! Suddenly, he sprinted and I followed, but he was too fast. When I finally caught up with him, he was leaning against the water cooler. Amateur. I didn't say I was a superstar. But you had fun, didn't you? Before I could say yes, I wiped sweat off my forehead and saw my makeup start to run. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I gotta go. I ran like crazy and only stopped when I reached the bathroom. I was able to fix my makeup just in time. Whew. But when I was leaving for home that day, Eric caught up with me. Hey, why'd you run off like that before? Before I could reply, a car honked loudly, and it was my aunt calling out to me. Why are you here? I can't pick up my favorite niece now. And who's that boy? Just a friend. You're obviously lying. You like him. Well, don't tell him about your real face if you want him to like you back. Maybe not everyone's as shallow as you, aunt. Oh, yes, they are. Trust me, I know. I got mocked for my appearance all the time. I couldn't change other things, but I could change my skin. And I really did with my creams. But unfortunately, you only have makeup, and that rubs off. She made me so mad. But what if she was right? Maybe Eric wouldn't like me if he knew the truth. But something totally unexpected happened the next day. Tracy had bought some new foundation, and she kept insisting at lunch that I try it. I told you, I don't want to take my makeup off right now. Can you drop it? Why are you like this? It's weird that you never take off your makeup in front of anyone. It's almost pathetic. Suddenly, I felt mad. I'm pathetic? What about you? Is there anything even real about you? I'm more real than you are. Really? Are your eyelashes real? And what about your nose job? Is this even real? I tugged on her hair just for effect, but suddenly half of it ended up in my hands. Oh God, I had no idea Tracy wore hair extensions. Tracy, I am so sorry. You knew, didn't you? Yeah, I'm insecure about my hair. You're insecure about your skin, but I'd never take your makeup off like that. How would I know? I I'm sorry. But it was too late. Everyone had seen me. They all thought I was a bully now and had exposed Tracy's secret on purpose. I tried to apologize, but Tracy completely ignored me. No one else was talking to me either, and even worse, Eric was being cold to me. Hey, it seems like you've been avoiding me. Well, yeah, I have. That was a really messed up thing you did to Tracy. I promise, I didn't know. I'm not sure I believe that. How could you not know? She's your best friend. You're just not who I thought you were. That hurt me more than anything else. I felt super lonely, so I just started having my lunch in an empty classroom while watching MSA videos on YouTube. It was the only thing that made me feel better. A few days later, I saw Eric going into the gym, and I decided I'd tell him everything so that he could get to know the real me. He hadn't seen me yet, and just then he started rolling up his pants. He had scars all over his legs. Suddenly, he realized I was right behind him. Hannah, you weren't supposed to see that. Please don't tell anyone. 
It happened in an accident and no one knows. Eric, I would never tell anyone. I wouldn't even have done that to Tracy if I'd known the truth about her hair. I want to believe you, but I don't think you understand what being insecure about something feels like. You look so perfect all the time. And then I wiped off my makeup to show him my real face. Oh, Hannah, I, I had no idea. You're beautiful. Thank you for showing me. He pulled me into a tight hug, and for the first time since my accident, I felt seen and accepted as me. The next day at school, I came with my makeup as usual, but Eric showed up in shorts, exposing his legs for the world to see. What was he doing? Hannah, I wanted to thank you. When you showed me your scars yesterday, I just became less afraid to show mine. I don't want to hide them anymore. I don't know what to say, especially because I haven't been so open about my own scars. Maybe you can take your makeup off now. We can take this step together. I wish I could, but I can't let anyone see me without makeup. I told him how my witch aunt had instructed me to never take off my makeup in public or she'd stop helping my family. We can keep it a secret as long as you reapply it before you go home. She won't know, right? At first, most of the kids at school didn't even recognize me without makeup. When they realized who it was, they were stunned, but I was surprised by how many people told me I was brave. Tracy looked shocked when I walked up to her. Here's my secret. Will you believe me now that I would never have let yours out on purpose? Yeah, I suppose you wouldn't. I thought things were finally back to normal, but the next day, I was about to go home when someone told me to check Tracy's Facebook page. She'd posted a picture of me without makeup and a caption that said, Guess Miss Perfect isn't perfect after all. Wow, so she hadn't forgiven me after all. I was gonna kick her butt the next day. But when I got home, Aunt was waiting for me, looking like a tiny dragon. You want to explain this picture to me? Not really. You were wrong about everyone, Aunt. No one judges me for my scars. In fact, they think I'm awesome for not hiding them. And Eric thinks I'm beautiful just the way I am. They're lying. They're laughing behind your back. And you messed up big time by not listening to me. I'm going to withdraw you from that school and stop sending money to your parents. Excuse me? What's this about you sending us money? Aunt and I turned around in shock to see mom behind us. Hannah, has she been treating you badly? Why didn't you tell me? When I told her everything, mom was furious. You petty, petty woman, as if you'd ever offer a single penny to anyone. I've been sending you money for Hannah's school. I know you've always envied me, but I didn't think you'd stoop so low and take it out on my daughter. And why would I envy you? I'm successful and have all the money in the world. Yeah, but you're gonna rot alone in this mansion. Good luck. Mom took my hand and we left. I was so glad to be out of that house. Honey, our business is doing much better now, and we even found a house. I came to get you so that you could see it before we bought it. I'm so happy things are better, Mom. But do you think we could move to Seattle? I finally feel like I fit in here. Mom looked really surprised. Yeah, I think we can do that. But are you sure? I thought about Eric and smiled. Yeah, I'm sure.